You might use an alarm clock to wake up, but the individual cells in your body also have clocks. Called circadian clocks, they operate in sync with the sun's daily cycle, telling your body the optimal time to sleep, eat, or do other biological jobs. Single-celled critters called cyanobacteria, which make food using energy from the sun, also have clocks that help them keep track of day and night. But how does their clock work? Cyanobacteria can't tick off time by counting 1,000, 1,000. Their clock is made of just three proteins, all named Kai, short for the Japanese character Kaiten, for cycle. Kai C is the clock's centerpiece. It is shaped like two donuts stacked on each other. At dawn, Kai C's donuts are loosely stacked. Enter Kai protein number two, Kai A. Kai A grabs onto little levers sticking out of Kai C, deforming its top donut. This prompts Kai C to slowly and methodically attach phosphates to itself. Tick tock, tick tock. By dusk, Kai C's top donut is stiff from being covered with phosphates. This makes the bottom donut bulge out. Enter Kai protein number three, Kai B. Kai B zooms in, grabbing hold of the bottom donut. Kai A gets kicked off the top donut. With Kai A gone, Kai C begins to undo the day's work, methodically removing all those phosphates. Tick tock, tick tock. By dawn, Kai C has shed its phosphates. Kai C's donuts relax, its little levers protrude again, the cycle starts over. But how does the clock guide cellular activity? When Kai C is decorating itself with phosphates, other proteins in the cell add phosphates to themselves as well. Some of these phosphate-wearing proteins can turn certain genes on and others off. The reverse is also true. Proteins without phosphates turn off the genes that were on and turn on the genes that were off. The rhythmic oscillation of when the clock proteins are wearing phosphates, lots of them at dusk, but few at dawn, guide the cell's metabolism, telling it what activities to do and when. Tick tock.